Saturday, September 28th. As you can see, it's kind of been a busy week. What I have planned right now um, for this vlog is just a simple packing tour and explanation about what my next three or what my next two vlogs are going to be about. So this one in particular, I am excited because it is my third time to Europe in three years. First, we'll be flying into Zurich uh, with a layover in Lisbon, Portugal. Second, we'll be going to Lucerne to hike in a part of the Alps, weather permitting, hope that's all good. And then I'll take a day trip up to Munich uh, to meet my buddy Austin to go uh, see all the sights, drink all the beer, and eat all the food at Oktoberfest. From there, Austin and I have will we'll experience what is known as the overnight Flixbus from Munich to Berlin, Germany. That will be very interesting. I'm six foot four, and I I have a tough time, let alone just sitting in an airplane seat. But I hear these buses are actually quite nice, and it's very affordable, and it's half the price of a hotel stay. So, anyways, from there, Berlin for a few days, then. I'm going to be heading from Berlin to the Dusseldorf Cologne area um, to go see my friend Annika. Annika, can't wait to see you, my friend. And then finally, I'll be going to Amsterdam uh, to finish off my trip and fly back home. One of the things that I did this time around when it comes to vlogging and, and that I learned the hard way from my last trip in Peru was to really up the ante when it comes to my gear. So first thing, I went a little Amazon crazy, let's call it that. I beefed up my tripod, number one. Jeez, everything's falling around. So the second thing that you probably don't see right now, but you can probably hear is the microphone quality. I'll post everything in the, in the uh, what do you call it? So, Coffee first, pack, work, go to JFK, fly. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Ready, set, go. I'm gonna set this right here. Let's do it. Just double checking everything. Yeah, we're good. Oh look, it's true. All right, have a good time. <laughs> Bye, Drew. Take some candy. Bye. 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 Ah, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like from being from Texas, especially from Dallas. Dallas Burger, brought to you by McDonald's in Lisbon, Portugal. Something else. Something else. Yeehaw. All right, y'all. So the 
flight over from JFK was really good. So a couple years ago when I was in the same airport doing the same route or whatever for uh, JFK to Lisbon, one of the things I had was like a nine hour layover. One of the things I discovered was um, these Portuguese like breakfast pastries. I just saw the name of it over there and I can't even remember it. I guess it's just the jet lag and being tired. But anyways, so nice Portuguese breakfast pastries. So. Super delicious. I have a lot to with it too. This is my next flight going from Lisbon to Zurich. So basically aboard in about an hour and then we'll have like a four hour flight from Lisbon to Zurich. And then um, should be getting into Zurich around five o'clock and therefore getting to the Airbnb around six. So gonna be an action packed day. Gotta enjoy this part. All right, y'all, so this is the main area of the Lisbon Airport where you wait for um, your flight information. There's a food court area where I was at before, but this is where you can just chill out and get some natural light. So really, really nice area. And so they call the gate of S23. So I'm going this way. I'm in Zurich. Man, what a day. To recap everything, started at 11 p.m. Saturday night, New York time, seven hours of flying time from JFK to Lisbon on the overnight. Then at Lisbon, had a two and a half hour layover. Man, I probably didn't get any sleep at all on the first flight, but I slept the entire time on the flight from, uh, on the flight from <laughs> from Lisbon to Zurich. I, I slept for an hour, then noticed that they were serving food. I ate and I passed out. And I was so passed out that they cleaned up the mess. Then we had a beautiful landing into Zurich, took the train in, took the number three tram in. And now I am in like the northeastern part of Zurich. Goals right now, after a long day of travel, it's just best to get a shower. But first, let me check out this uh, Airbnb. So, nothing uh, out of this world. Nice little bathroom situation. I have no idea what those two things do. Microwave. Kitchen. Yeah. It's got enough. Got enough. Oh, yeah. Let me check this out. It has a nice little view. Look out there. Isn't that beautiful? First off, the train ride over from the airport was amazing. The, the train was so quiet, so quick, um, just absolutely incredible. Once I got into the train station, one of the first things I noticed was just the sheer amount of fresh air that was available, right? And so, I mean, it just came down and hit you. And as soon as you came up to the street level, um, it was just clean as could be, right? It's just that coming from New York City, which is just a city of filth, <laughs> I mean, like, I'm already in love with Zurich. It's, it's amazing. So, and I can't wait to see more of it tonight. Just so happened to find the right tram, but I didn't download Google Maps offline, so I was like, oh, well, I'm either going one way or the other. I got on the right way. I met my Airbnb host, Val Beer. He was a cool dude. Um, shout out to him for letting me hang out at his place. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Ready to uh, shower up, get clean, and, you know, hit this town. <laughs> 